Hello YouTube, I had quite a busy summer this year because I, I started many new things here. First of all, let me introduce you my new dog, my little rascal. Hey, Seder! No! Here's my new dog. Her name is Ribizli. She's the new Padawan of Seder. They love each other, they love each other, two little rascals. Okay, <laughs> second and the most important thing is that the black powder hunting season is on again in Hungary. We received a special permit from the authorities to start black powder hunting again with muzzle loaders. This is a second time in my country, so stay tuned for more hunting related videos and hunting videos. And of course, this is why I have this rifle in my back. Third, I'm back in the school again. I'm going for my PhD in military history. To tell you the truth, I don't really care about this kind of titles, but hey, I will be able to learn from the best 19th century Hungarian military historians. So I'm really happy to be there. And the fourth, tomorrow I'm leaving for Granada for the MLAIC World Championships. We have a beautiful team of four Hungarian persons and we have a very strong team in flintlock rifle events. So we hope to win some medals. I will make every day a short film about uh, about the happenings and the, and the results of the days at the World Championships, so stay tuned. But now let's hit the range and see what we can do with this Hawken rifle. The Pedersoli Mystery River Hawken is designed with the hunters in mind, looking for modern time performance but elegant traditional design as well. I think it represents the premium quality of the market today. This rifle has a match grade broach rifled 50 caliber barrel with 1 in 23 inch twist rate. This rifle is made by hunters for hunters. The blade front sight is polished bright to collect light even at dawn or sunset. The back horn sight is adjustable for windage and elevation as well. This rifle has an oiled walnut stock, a hook bridge barrel and a double set trigger system. Usually Hawkins are not manufactured with fast twist rates like this, but the Missouri River Hawken is designed for conical bullets. Using a plastic sabot and an undersized bullet is anything but traditional, but it surely increases the range capabilities of the muzzle loading hunting rifle. The patching material here is a plastic tube that separates the 45 caliber bullet from the bore. A lighter, undersized bullet means higher muzzle velocity, flat trajectory, increased range and increased killing power. I decided to do everything as I was hunting, so I did not use any pre-measured powder charge or long funnels. I set my adjustable powder measure to 100 grains and loaded 100 grains of 3F Swiss powder into the bore. I find this little tool very handy. For hunting we don't need to measure the powder charge by weight. It does not matter if you have 1 or 2 grains less or more powder in your charge. Measuring by volume is enough. The sabotted 45 caliber maxiball fits tight in the bore, but still you don't need a starter while loading. I applied some soft bullet lube on top of the maxiball and I also wiped the bore after each shot. Be careful to seat the bullet tight on the powder. If you go hunting, I suggest you to use the red boxed, stronger caps. An advantage of the Sabot is that you can use any modern 45 caliber jacketed, semi jacketed, hollow point or ballistic tip hunting bullets as well. Let's check the first shot. It's the first ever shot of this rifle. Let's see it on the target. Oh yeah, that's it's there. Wow. Okay, so this was my aiming point. So the bullet hit just a bit above my aim, aiming point, but it can be my hand as well. Not bad, not bad for a first shot. Let's shoot a group. Let's check what we have here. So that is four shots at 50 meters. This was my first shot shot offhand and the other three went just into the same 
about a five centimeter group. So for hunting this is more than excellent. Let's go now to 100 meters. At 100 meters, the 250 grains bullet fired with 570 meters per second them still seems to be in the elevation period, as the bullets fired to this distance hit approximately 5 to 10 centimeters higher than the impacts of the 50 meter group. This technically means that you can reach out to 120, 130 meters without adjusting your sights and still having the trajectory at the vital zone of the game. But be careful, know your limits. It's better to stalk the game closer with open sights.